The genre of CS2 is defined as a team tactical shooter, and everyone in his own way understands what word is the main here. For those who think of themselves as John Rimbo, single-handedly able to take down all enemies and emphasizes shooting, this is a shooter. For those who max out on spreadsheets and game plans, the word tactical is the main one, and few pay enough attention to quality communication to ignore the word team. Which of them is wrong? The paradox is that everyone is right. There are no less important aspects in KC, yet communication to many seems less important than shooting or spreading. The old ironic saying, keep quiet, you'll be clever, perfectly suits many life situations. But here to CS2, it does not apply, because here, as we all know, the outcome of the round can decide a fraction of a second, and timely and competently submitted information will not miss precious time. For contrast, there's another saying, and here it is perfectly suited for our favorite game, but in relation to it, takes on a completely different meaning. You know less, you sleep better. In KC, it is really true. The less information you have, the higher the chance to sleep soundly until the next round. Hi everyone, and today we're going to talk about the most important and most underrated skill in CS2, the art of communication. And before we start our communication, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and be sure to watch to the end so you don't miss the information that will make you celebrate more than one more victory. Here we go. Fry your enemies with top skins. Enter the code from the screen on the site GG Drop and get plus 11% to deposit and free spin. In Counter-Strike, it is important to understand that this is a game with live people who, unlike bots, do not have prescribed scenarios of behavior and can do different, unexpected dirt. Communication is a necessary skill in the confrontation between two teams of real people. These tips, unless of course you don't give a fuck and you're a lazy fucker, will help you feel more confident in the game and not give away situations that could have been yours. The first thing to pay attention to is to learn to give information not only about your opponents, but also about about your own actions. If you are pulling out of position or throwing grenades and flashbangs, inform your teammates, because if you don't do it, situations will be replayed, captives will be released, and teammates will merge. For example, say, I let go of the carpets and go to the connector. It's not difficult, but your teammates will realize that because of the carpets, they can go wide, that it's better not to go wide, not to open under this position. They will be able to play better only because you gave the information correctly. Similar situation with grenades. If you don't warn your teammates what and where you're throwing, it will make their life Life very difficult, which is not in your interest at all. So the first rule is, try to always talk about your actions. Winter is over and from the south came healthy dragons who are firmly settled on GG Drop. These beasts have an incredible instinct for gold and that's why they're here. After all, a new dizzying event. Flight to gold is coming to GG Drop. Replenish your balance, get Dracoins, and choose an egg to fly to the location where guaranteed prizes are waiting for you. Pass all the locations and take the grand prize. Treasure is closer than ever. Let's take off. However, talking only about yourself is also not an option, and not because it is impolite. It is necessary to give qualitative and clear information about the actions of the enemies. Say everything you hear and see, where enemies are stomping, what grenades are coming at your captive. This information will help your teammates understand how many enemies are directly at you, and whether they can push up or need to let go of their positions and pull over to you, or if it's a sneaky enemy fake in the first place. And if you don't say that you have a smoke coming in and there are two or three flash grenades flying and a Molotov cocktail coming in, then your teammates may think that someone is scattering solo. And there are already three Molotov cocktails burning, and it's a full-fledged run. So if you don't give information, the team can't react to it and the round will be drained. There is one more tip that many, sometimes very experienced players, often as they say, put with the device. Often enemies play in the same positions, so learn to memorize their nicknames. Here's a hack. If you are really lazy to remember nicknames, just mask all players. And then you can use the color to navigate where and which enemy is on the map. In this case, you will be able at the right moment to go to the opponent, who today, the game is not flying, and take him away. Because you know what position he plays. Or for example, if you kill the A-bomb strongholder, and there are two other opponents left who you know are playing bomb, then you have time to prepare for their rotation and protect yourself from going in the back. So, 
Don't be lazy to memorize the positions and nicknames of your opponents. It will save you more than one rank in the future. The ability to distinguish between opponents will also come in handy in a situation where you shoot someone. For example, in the connector, he kills you, goes behind some position, your teammate appears, kills a completely different dude, and thinking that he has traded you with a knife runs somewhere else like not even realizing the danger. In this case, it's important to say him or not him to make it clear that there's another player there. Try not to make up information. Speak only on the facts, what you see. How many times has it happened that two flashes on B came and in teammate panic, it's rush B. Such information can ruin any rink because when you hear rush B, your teammates may start to drag, lose focus on their positions and fly away in a firefight which could have been won by staying focused. So if it flies two flashes on A or three smokes on B, say exactly that, not to make a rush B. Or if you're a B support and there's a large number of enemies running at you, don't say full rush B, it's better to say a lot, then your teammates coming to your aid will be prepared, that some lurker might have lurked somewhere to start doing dirt. Here's another great tip, try to learn how to give info right during firefights. It often happens that when you start shooting, you are so focused on it that even when you see a couple more opponents, you try to reshoot instead of giving information to your teammates. And if the firefight drags on, neither you nor the enemy gets killed right away, you move out of position to reload and go at the enemy again, and there's silence in the air the whole time. None of your teammates will start pulling over to help just because you were silent. Speaking and shooting may seem difficult at first, but once you master this skill, you will be able to speed up the actions of your teammates. They will have time to rush to you and help you knock out or defend the plat. The sooner you give information, the sooner you will get help, and it will be useful, first of all, for yourself. Also, spend 30 minutes of your precious life and learn the exact names of all the positions. Don't make up your own. Don't try to describe in your own words, especially since it looks ridiculous and as nooble as possible. By doing this, you will help the team and therefore yourself a lot. To practice these skills, there is a rather dumb seeming way. Go into the DM and say out loud everything you do and what happens. No matter how ridiculous it may look from the outside, pretty quickly your info skill will start to progress. And for sweet, when the team will establish communication and you can clearly understand the situation on the battlefield, then try to look less often at the minimap. Although it's only half a second, but it takes the focus off the scope and if at this moment the enemy comes out at you, you will lose the situation. Try to check for the minimap while behind cover and remember that the better your team is at giving info, the less you need to look at it at all. PRO players and coaches have long ago realized that with quality teamwork, results grow like bamboo. They pay attention to it and therefore communication is constantly evolving. Hopefully now, even if the word commanding doesn't become a major word for you, you won't downplay its importance. I hope that the video was useful and you will appreciate it with your royal likes and subscriptions to the channel. And I'll say goodbye to you for today, cheerful skating rink guys.